What's going on, everybody? Thanks for tuning in for another episode of Zim's Beer Review. I'm your host, Garrett Zimmer. Thanks for tuning in. I uh, appreciate every everything you guys have been given uh, feedback-wise. Um, tuning in, subscribing, liking, all that good stuff. Thank you for the continued support. Uh, we have another beer for you today. Um, we're just mixing it up. Uh, I had a couple people ask me, how do you decide which beers you're going to review next? And I really don't have a good answer other than I go to the liquor store and I build my own six-pack and kind of just see what looks interesting. If it's a beer I've never had before, uh, maybe it's an interesting style, maybe it's an interesting flavor that they're advertising, maybe it's a cool can, maybe it's a brewery I like, maybe it's a brewery I've never heard of. I There's really no rhyme or reason. So if there's something you guys would like to see, feel free to leave a message in the comments. Let me know if there's something that a specific beer type or beer uh, or brewery that you think I should review, uh, please leave a comment or send me a message. I'd be happy to try and find it and and do a review for everybody. So today, the beer that's on tap is the Wasatch Brewery's Apricot Hefeweizen. You can kind of get, there we go, get a good picture of it right there. Um, Wasatch Brewery is out of Salt Lake City, Utah. Uh, they've actually been around... I didn't know much about them. Before each one of these episodes, I do a little bit of history research on these um, different breweries to kind of be able to give you guys a story. And I hadn't ever heard of them before. Um, so I, I just naturally assumed they were relatively new. And that's totally not the case. Wasatch Brewery was actually founded in 1986. Um, let me open this. I'm going to give you guys a, a little backstory on them. So Wasatch Brewery was um, actually started in 1986 in Salt Lake City, Utah, which is obviously where they, they brew out of. And um, well, that's a very light beer, extremely light beer. So light, in fact, I think you can see, you can see through this. It's almost like the green screen behind it is coming right through. Very, very light in color, very golden in color but definitely clear, um, filtered for sure. Yeah. Um, anyways. Oh, wow. Smells tart. Smells sour right off the bat. This is, um, it's apricot. So I guess I can see where it might be a little bit sour. It's a hef. So it's going to be like that yeasty wheat beer. I prefer, um, I wouldn't say prefer cause I, I mean, I like all beers, but I really do enjoy um, a good Hef. I, they're, some of my very early beer experiences were from um, Widmere Brothers and their Hef that they have out of Oregon. But Ooh, that's good. That's a refreshingly crisp, little tart. Not a sour. Smells like a sour. Doesn't, doesn't hit you like a sour does. Um, <clears throat> Anyways, Wasatch Brewery out of Salt Lake City, Utah was founded in 1986 and they were the very first brewery in Utah. Very first one in Utah, 1986. And they were one of the first craft brewers in all of the United States, which was pretty dang cool. Um, if you've ever been to Utah or maybe you're kind of, you know, about the Utah, Utah and beer uh, kind of never really got along even to this day beer that you buy in utah is a lower alcohol content even your standard coors lights i think there's 3.2 percent i think there's three two beers is what they call them but they just brew everything with less alcohol content um there i don't know the exact reason behind that i think it's kind of just legislation and historically that's kind of how it's been um I don't know how much religion plays into that, but whatever the reason, Utah does have, um, in general, lower alcohol content beers. And it makes sense why their very first brewery was in 1986, because they kind of just probably held on to the, the their, old, their old ways, I guess. If you have any information on this, leave it in the comments. I'd love to hear more about it. Um, doing a review on the beer and the brewery, not necessarily the history of Utah, so forgive me. But anyways, um, the Greg, I think his name is Greg Scherf. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. Um, he moved to Utah from Milwaukee, started up the brewery, 
1986. And then in 1988, Greg actually proposed another bill to the U Utah legislature making brew pubs legal in Utah where they had not been previously, which is pretty cool. I mean, we're talking about like brew pubs, not breweries in like specific, but a brew pub where you can brew and sell your beer there, maybe have food, um, pretty much what you're familiar with nowadays. Um, that was in 1988, which is pretty interesting. And they opened up their the very first brew pub at the top of the historic Main Street in Park City, Utah. Um, they still are there. That's one of their three current brew pubs that they have now. They have one in Park City, Utah, which was the first one. And then they have two in Salt Lake City um, specifically. So they have three total in, uh, in Utah there. And we're going to pull up their uh, website preview here. Pull this up. There we go. So this is Wasatch Brewery's website. It's wasatchbeers.com. This is their homepage, as you can see. It kind of looks like we've dove into what beers they have, but this is actually their their exact homepage. You can go through all their beers here on like a little clicker and go back and forth. Um, the beer we're actually doing today is right here. So we're going to move over to the Apricot Hefeweizen. So, man, this is a very refreshing beer. Um, very crisp, has a lot of flavor, definitely an apricot taste to it. Um, but it is tart, uh, not a sour, just a little bit of a tartness on the back end. Hits you with flavor up front. It smells. So they're advertising an apricot nose, refreshing, slightly tart finish. Yeah, totally, totally what I'm getting here. Really good flavor. I even smell, I mean, you can smell the hops and the yeast in this a little bit in this hef. Um, you definitely are getting the apricot smell coming through. Uh, which does translate to flavor. Not all the time do you have the smell and the flavor both there. Sometimes a beer smells really good and tastes different or doesn't taste like the fruit they're advertising and vice versa. Sometimes you can't smell the fruit and then you taste it. But this one I would say is is very equal between the nose and then the actual taste. Um, what they advertise, it delivers is what I'll say. Very, very refreshing beer. Thoroughly enjoy this. Um, so this is 4.8% alcohol, 9 IBUs. We're talking low, people. This is not a bitter beer. Very light and crisp. Um, it's a half, but they're advertising it here as an American wheat with fruit. Um, not uncommon for them to advertise it like that or to have a half advertised as such. But yeah, I, I would say this is a very, very delicious, refreshing summer beer. If, um, if you are in the Utah area or if you happen to go to the liquor store and you see that Wasatch has beer in your local liquor store, I encourage you to come to their website here, wasatchbeers.com. Check out their beer finder. You can find any of their beers, their specific beers, or just in general where they're at uh, using their little interactive map here. Just use your zip code and you can find where beers are near you. So I highly encourage you to guys to go check that out. And as always, please like and subscribe to the channel. Helps me out a lot. And if there's a beer that you would like to see reviewed on this channel, please feel free to leave a comment below and uh, maybe you'll see it on an upcoming episode. So anyways, thank you guys for tuning in and I'll be back soon with uh, yet another beer review. So as always, have a beer.